Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, good afternoon. Marini niyo ako. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Let me check if this is recorded already. Okay, it's recorded already. So we are now on our lecture five on methods of integration for trigonometric integrals. Uh, by the way, trigonometric in integrals are those whose integrands involve trigonometric functions. So our learning outcome for this lecture five is to evaluate integrals involving a product of sines and cosines, powers of sines and cosines, powers of tangents and seconds, and powers of cotangents and coseconds. Now the purpose of this lecture five is to allow us to explore um, other methods of integration. So in this lecture, we'll be, uh, we will deal with um, evaluating integrands or evaluating integrals wherein we cannot use directly the standard uh, integration formula discussed in the previous lectures that we have. So, yung i-discuss natin this afternoon, these are special uh, types of uh, integrating or evaluating integrals. So, let's start with the first one. We have the product of sines and cosines. If we are to review the theorems that we discussed in our previous lectures, specifically on our lecture with on uh, integration of trigonometric functions, okay, we have a special uh, we have special cases of evaluating integrals wherein we cannot use those theorems that we uh, discussed already in the previous lectures. So for example, we have this theorem 25, theorem 26, and theorem 27. In theorem 25, we have the integral of sine u times cosine v dx. So if we are to review the theorems that we already discussed, we do, not, we do not have a standard integration formula to solve or to evaluate this integral. And so we have this product of sines and cosines. So in, in theorem 25, if we are to evaluate uh, the integral of the product of sine u and cosine v dx, what we're going to do is to find a, an existing trigonometric identity wherein we can rewrite the integrand so that we can apply the existing standard integration formula. So for example, this integrand sine u times cosine v dx. We have an existing trigonometric identity, and that is 2 sine, sine u times cosine v. Okay. So in order to evaluate this integral, we will introduce a, a factor, which is 2 over 2, and then applying a integral of integral of the product, the best natin si 1 half, times the remaining 2 times sine u times cosine v. Now, itong new integrand natin, which is 2 sine, 
2 times sin u times cosine d, meron tayong existing trigonometric identity for this integrand. And the existing trigonometric identity for this is we have this one. The sum of the sum of sine u plus v and sine u minus v. In short, if we are to evaluate the integral of sine u times cosine v dx, we simply use this theorem that is equal to one half times the integral of the sum of sine u plus v and sine u minus v dx. In theorem 26, we evaluate integral of the product of cosines, product of cosine u and cosine v dx. So to evaluate this integral, we look for an existing trigonometric identity na kagaya nung una, pwede natin ipasok yung mga existing standard integration formula. And so we will introduce a factor, which is 2 over 2, apply uh, integral of the product. So we have 1 half times the remaining 2 times cosine u times cosine v dx. And then this integrand, this new integrand 2 times cosine u cosine v has an existing uh, trigonometric identity. And that is equal to the sum of cosine u plus v and cosine u minus v. Then for theorem 27, we have the, the integral of the product of sine u and the sine v dx. Same, we introduce a factor to over to apply integral of the product. So we have one half times the integral of two times sine u times sine v dx. And then we have an existing uh, trigonometric identity for the our new integrand two sine u times sine v and that is the difference between cosine u minus v and cosine u plus v. Kung napapansin nyo, for theorem 25, the product of sine and cos will result to a sum of two sines. Okay? While for theorem, theorems 26 and 27, the product the product of two cosines and the product of two sines will result to a sum of cosines and a difference of cosines. Where u and v are differentiable functions of x and u is not equal to v. Okay? But let us apply this theorem to this example. Example number one. We have the integral of cosine 6x times cosine 2x dx. So what theorem is applicable to this example? That is the theorem involving the product of two cosines. So we have theorem 26, so product of two cosines. So the product of two cosines is equal to, we have one half times the integral of the sum of cosine u plus v and cosine u plus v. So we have the theorem. Theorem 26 states that the integral cosine u times cosine v is equal to this expression. And so we have this one. So we introduce one, uh, the factor 2 over 2, then apply integral of the products. So we have 1 half times the integral of the remaining 2. Kasi yung factor natin, multiplying factor natin is 2 over 2. Labas natin yung 1 half. So what remains in the integrand is yung numerator natin na 2. Okay. So 2 times cosine 6x, ah, 2 times cosine 6x times cosine 2x dx. So what happened here? We all know that the integrand 2 times cosine 6x 
6x times cosine 2x dx follows this form. 2 cos u cosine d dx. And so, we will apply this expression. We have cosine u plus d cosine 8x. And why it becomes 8x? Because that is u plus d. Our u is 6x and our v is 2x. So add these two, we have cosine 8x plus we have cosine u minus v. And so we have cosine 6x minus 2x is 4x. So cosine 4x dx. And what to do next? Okay. So we integrate uh, each term in the integrand. So the integral of cosine 8x, we all know from our previous discussion on integration of trigonometric function, uh, the integral of cosine, the integral of cosine is sine u plus c. And so we have 1 over 8 sine 8x plus the integral of cosine 4x is 1 fourth sine 4x plus C. And then what to do next? We will distribute this one half to each term inside the quantity. So we have, yeah, the final answer is 1 over 16 sine 8x plus 1 over 8 sine 4x plus C. So that is with example number one. If you have questions, feel free to unmute your microphone or to Send a message in the chat box. Or if you have questions or uh, yeah, questions or clarifications, you can type your questions or clarifications on the chat box so I can view so I can view them later. So we are done with example one. Now let's proceed to example two. So we are to evaluate the integral of 3 sine 5x times cosine 4x dx. So this is uh, examining the integrand. It follows the product of sine and cosine and that is theorem at 25. Okay, so we have theorem 25, the integral of the product of sine u and cosine v dx, and then we will follow this form. Okay, so what's next? So why is it three halves? Because applying the theorem, we already have a, a multiplier, one half, and then we will apply integral of the product. So this constant 3, multiply nothing, so 1 half. And so we have 3 halves times the integral of 2 sine 5x cosine 4x dx. And then we will apply theorem 25 to evaluate the integrand. And so we have 3 halves times the integral of sine 9x, what well, becomes sine 9x? Because following the theorem, we have sine u plus v. Our u is 5x and our v is 4x. So we add these two functions of x resulting to 9x. Plus, we have sine u minus v, so 5x minus 4x is x. And then what's next? We will integrate each term of the integrand applying linearity uh, rule. So we will integrate sine 9x dx and we will integrate sine x dx. So we have this one. The integral of sine 9x is negative 1 over 9 cosine 9x. The integral of sine x dx is negative cosine x plus c. And then we will distribute three halves to each term of inside the quantity. So we have three halves times negative one over nine cosine nine x becomes 
negative 1 over 6 cosine 9x. We, we reduce 3 and 9. Okay, and so we have negative 1 over 6 cosine 9x. Then multiply 3 halves to the second term of the quantity. So we have negative 3 halves cosine x plus c. And so the integral of 3 sine 5x times cosine 4x dx is equal to negative 1 over 6 cosine 9x minus 3 halves cosine x plus c. If you have question or clarifications for example number two, you can unmute your microphone or you you type your question on the chat box so I can view them later. Okay. Ganun yung examples one and two natin, ganun lang yung attack or approach natin if we are to evaluate product of sine and cosine. Okay. Kailangan lang is we have to be or we need to be careful sa pag in applying the theorem, in applying the applicable theorem, and then in, in manipulating algebraic expressions and trigonometric expressions. Okay, second outline we have powers of sines and cosines. The first one is product of sines and cosines. Now we have powers of sines and cosines. Okay, the general form is the integral is the integral of sine 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 v raised to m times cosine v raised to n dx. Okay. That's the general form if we are to apply powers of sines and cosines. For example, we have uh, the integral of sine uh, sine cube v times cosine squared v dx. Then we can apply powers of sines and cosines. Or we have sine, sine v raised to 5, cosine v raised to 3 dx. Then we can apply powers of sines and cosines. So in this outline, our interest is uh, is focused on the powers, the exponents, okay? where v is a differentiable function of x and the m and the n are real numbers. Kung napapansin natin in this general form, uh, these two functions, these v's, are equal, okay? v is a differentiable function of x. The 3x, 6x, 1 half x, for any function involving x that is differentiable. And the powers m and n are real numbers. Okay, so we have these cases. Given this general form of the powers of sines and cosines, if these powers m and n are equal to 1, or if m is equal to 1 and n is not equal to 1, or if m is not equal to 1 and n is equal to 1, this general form can be easily evaluated by the method of substitution or the u substitution okay uh, the method of integration that we already discussed in the previous lectures uh, if you can still recall so for example given a certain uh, integral to solve the integral to evaluate the integral we let u equal this expression and then we derive u with respect to x and then solve for dx okay, that is method of substitution or u substitution but there are cases wherein we cannot use directly u substitution for example we have case one case one is when m is a positive odd integer and n is any number, okay? 
So given the integrand of the general form sine sine v raised to n uh, cosine v raised to n, okay, m here in the general form, if m is a positive odd integer and n is any number, then that falls. This falls under case one. Okay. Since this general form falls under case one, then we'll make use of this uh, expression to evaluate the integral. The integral. So since since m is odd, therefore sine v raised to m minus one is even or m minus one is even. And if if the power of sine, if the power of sine is an even number or an even integer to be specific, then we can use this trigonometric identity. Sine square v is equal to one minus cosine square v. Okay. So to ex that is to express the purpose of such is to express sine m minus one v in terms of the powers in terms of the powers of cosine v. Okay, sorry, ha, doubly, uh, doubly of the powers. Okay, and so our uh, the integral of the general form becomes the integral of the sum of the quantity sum of powers of cosine v times sine v dx. Example. Example, we have the integral of sine cube 4x times cosine squared 4x dx. Okay. Paano to magiging case 1? Paano siya ma, uh, ma include sa case 1? Okay. Let us examine first the powers. The power of sine is 3, which is an odd number or an odd integer. Okay. Odd integer. In, in layman's term, odd integer means uh, pag may divide tayo ng 2, laging may sobrang isa. Okay, I forgot the Tagalog term for that. <laughs> okay, while uh, the power of cosine is 2, and the condition for case 1 is the power of cosine is any number. Okay, any number could be positive or negative. Wala siyang ina na doon. Siyang inispecified. Basta any number. And so we have this. Okay, applying applying case one, ang, ang, our objective in case one is that if the power of sine is an odd integer, then we will translate or yeah, yeah we will translate this sine cube four x into an expression where in yung isa is an even number, even integer, I mean. And so we have the integral of sine square 4x, cosine square 4x, sine 4x dx. So napapansin nyo yung naka-red. Okay? Actually, galing lang yan sa sine cube 4x. Bakit ginawa natin to? Bakit meron tayong sine square 4x and we have sine 4x? Bakit finactor out natin yung sine cube for x? Kasi, kailangan natin makuha yung isang factor ng sine cube for x wherein the power is an even integer. Kasi if the, if the power of sine is an even integer, then we can apply the trigonometric identity. Sine square for x is equal to 1 minus cosine square for x. And then copy the other uh, terms in the integrand. Okay, and so we have the integral of 1 minus, uh, the quantity 1 minus cosine square for x times cosine square for x sine for x 
dx. And so what's next? We will multiply cosine square 4x to each term inside the quantity. And so we have cosine square 4x times 1 is cosine square 4x. Cosine square 4x times negative cosine square 4x is negative cosine uh, 4x raised to 4. Okay, times sine 4x dx. Okay. And then, we let u equals k. Dito na papasok ang u substitution or ang method of substitution. We let u equals cosine for x. Okay. Okay, we let u equals cosine for x. And then we derive u with respect to x. And that is the derivative of cosine for x is negative 4 sine for x dx. And so sine for x dx is equal to negative 1 for du. Then Substituting u and du, so cosine square for x becomes u square. Uh, negative cosine for x raised to four is negative u raised to the power of four. And then sine for x dx, which is equal to negative one fourth du. So we have this. Then ap apply uh, integral of the product. We have negative one fourth times. The quantity u square minus u raised to 4 du. And what's next? We'll apply a uh, general power rule. Okay. So we have negative 1 4 times the quantity u cube over 3 minus u raised to 5 over 5 plus c. Then distribute negative 1 4 to each or multiply negative 1 4 to each term inside the quantity and so we have so the integral of sine 4x raised to 3 cos cosine square 4x dx is equal to negative cosine 4x raised to 3 over 12 plus cosine 4x raised to 5 over 20 plus c Now let's have case number two. So case number two, um, given the uh, general form of the integrand, sine v raised to n, cosine n, v, uh, if the power of sine is any number and the power of cosine is, an, is a positive odd integer, then we will apply this expression, equivalent expression. Since n, the power of cosine, so ang yung focus dito is yung cosine. Since n is odd, then n minus 1 is even. So if n minus 1 or if the, if the power of cosine is even, then we can apply this trigonometric identity. Cosine square v is equal to 1 minus sine square v. The purpose of such is to express uh, cosine n minus 1 v in terms of the powers of double in terms of the powers of sine v and so the general form becomes the integral of the quantity sum of powers of sine v times cosine v dx let's have this example the integral of sine square x times cosine cube x d x so examine first the integrand the power of cosine is uh, a positive odd integer and so this is under case number two we cannot apply case number one kasi ang sabi ni case number one ang power ng sine is a positive odd integer in this example the power of sine is an even integer and so, hindi applicable in case 1. Instead, we'll make use of case 2. 
So making use of case number two, so we ex we express cosine cube x into cosine into the product of cosine square x and cosine x. Tama? And then uh, apply or substitute the equivalent trig trigonometric identity for cosine square x, and so we have one minus sine square x. And then what's next? We will multiply sine square x to each term in the quantity, inside the quantity. So we have sine square x minus sine raised to power x. Cosine x dx. Then we let u, we will apply u substitution. We let u equals sine x. Now, if we are to derive u with respect to x, sine x, so the derivative of sine x is equal to cosine x dx. Okay. We will not solve for dx. We will not uh, express dx in terms of cosine. Why? Because cosine x dx is nasa, nasa integrand na natin. So hindi na natin kailangan hanapin ang dx. Kasi ito mismo cosine x dx and dito mismo sa integrand natin. Okay. Then substitute u. So we have the integral, the integral um, the quantity u square minus u raised to 4 du. Then this form follows the uh, general power rule, or we can use general power rule to solve this and to evaluate this integral. And so this becomes u raised to 3 over 3 minus u raised to 5 over 5 plus c. And then substitute the value of u which is sine x and so we have sine cube x over 3 minus sine raised to 5x over 5 plus c. And napapansin nyo yung u raised to the power of 3. Ang 3 na power natin is in between sine and x. Hindi, hindi si Hindi yung 3 na kay x. Okay. It's the degree of the function sine. Sine x. Okay. So let's have case number 3. Now for case number 3, m and n are both integers. Either both are positive or 1 positive and 1 0. Okay, so, so we will use this uh, equivalent form. And then we'll make use of tri the trigonometric identity sine square v is equal to 1 minus cosine 2v all over 2. And the other one, the other trigonometric identity is the is cosine square v, which is equal to 1 plus cosine 2v over 2. Mapapansin nyo, medyo magkapareho sila ng uh, equivalent trigonometric identity. Kaibahan lang is yung operation. Kapag sine square b, it's minus. If cosine square b, it's plus. So example, we have the integral of sine raised to 4x dx. So, wala tayong function of cosine. Bakit kaya? Kasi sabi nga kanina sa case number 3, it's either 1 is positive and 1 is 0. Okay? So here, sa, case na, sa example na to, yung power ng cosine is 0. So 1. Okay? So what to do here? So this is case number 3 with n equals 4 and n equals 0. And so, we, uh, we express sine raised to 4x into sine square x raised to the power of 2. Okay? If we are to solve this, this is equal uh, sine square x raised to the power of 2 is equal to sine raised to 4x. Not sine x raised to 4. Okay? And then we will substitute the um, equivalent trigonometric identity for sine square x. That is 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. And then what happened here is we square the numerator and then square the denominator. Now to, to find the square of the numerator, our numerator is 1 minus cosine 2x and that is a binomial. The square of a binomial is a trinomial. Okay, so we have 
Now, to apply the procedure in square or binomial, square the first term, that is 1 square over 1. Then, for the second term, twice the product of the first term and second term. So, we have net minus 2 cosine 2x. And then, for the third term, square the last term or the second term. And so, we have plus cosine square 2x. And then, square root 2 is for the x. Then, applying integral of the product. So, labas natin si 1 fourth. Bakit 1 fourth? Kasi merong 1 sa taas. Then, for denominator. So, we have 1 fourth times quantity 1 minus 2 cosine 2x plus cosine square 2x dx. Okay? And then, dito, meron naman tayong cosine squared 2x. So, ang gagawin natin sa cosine squared 2x is to substitute its equivalent trigonometric identity, which is 1 plus cosine 4x uh, over 2. Uh, bakit kaya naging cosine 4x to? Bakit hindi cosine 2x? Remember the form, it's 1 plus cosine 2x. So yung x natin dito is yung buong 2x. It times natin sa 2 and so we have cosine 4x over 2. Then, anong gagawin natin next? Itong expressions natin inside the quantity, ihanapin natin yung LCD which is 2. Okay. Then, do the operation. And so, we have this. Now, continuation niya, copy lang natin or forward natin. We add 2 and 1 in the numerator. So, we have 3 minus copy the remaining terms. And then, what's next? Okay, this uh, express, express each term in the numerator. Uh, with respect to the denominator 2. And so we have 3 halves minus 4 cosine 2x over 2 is minus 2 cosine 2x plus cosine 4x over 2. Then apply linearity rule, then integrate each term. And so we have the answer. 3x over 8 minus sine 2x over 4 plus sine 4x over 32 plus c. Question for this example.